Hi, I'm Luke Sierveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today we're going to compare a number of panels. These are all panels that are full color. They're all relatively the same size, sort of a one by two. This uh, Nanlux is a little bit larger. But um, yeah, and the Vortex has uh, individual lenses, but we'll try it with the lenses and we'll try it with the uh, softener in front of it. Uh, we'll run them all through a frame of 250 just to soften them up, see how they work in sort of a real world situation. And they're about nine foot from our talent. All right, so here we go. We've got the uh, Airy S60C Sky Panel, and then we've got the Aperture 600C Nova, and the Cream Source Vortex 8, and the Nanlux Dino 650C. Okay, they're all a little bit different. Um, they have you know different uh, aspects to them, but I'm not going to go into super detail. I might call some things out, but. Uh, uh, if you're looking for more detail, uh, definitely check out Gaffer and Gear with Andrew Locke. All right, so here is the sky panel. It's at 5600, and it is at full bore, 100%. And we are, um, see, I've got a little light there uh, on the back, so I'll take that down, and here we go. So um, first we'll check out color. 5300 and foot candle wise right to the unit I've got 84 foot candles and it's dark outside so we're not going to get any uh, other ambient light this is the only source that's really working here all these other units have lumen radio built in the sky panel does not two of these units have the power box built in whereas the dyno the nanlux and the uh, sky panel do not. That's a plus minus depending on what you want. Would make the head lighter without having the PSU attached. Uh, and some people like to have that ability. If something goes wrong with one element, then it, not the whole thing has to be returned. Just you know that power box, say, or just the head. So you know uh, it kind of depends uh, how you like to run your uh, rental business. Uh, say or um, what you're used to. Now I will say that at least the aperture overall is quite uh, light compared to a number of these other units. You'll also notice things like the Vortex has an IP rating, you know some weight probably factored into that as well. But otherwise they're all relatively in the same ballpark. Uh, what I do also want to look at is uh, how many watts they're pulling at 100% at 6,500. So here at 100%, we're running at 431 watts, and we were running hardwire DMX to the unit. One thing I like about the 600C is it's got uh, tightening knobs on both ends, just like uh, the Vortex has that as well. Heavier units tend to have that. I often tie my cables to the yoke just so I don't lose them out in the field or you know that I know they'll make it back to the box <laughs> and then it is nice that a uh, little change from the uh, Nova 300C now this control box if it's connected to the back you've got a little connecting uh, mechanism so uh, the unit sees the box you don't have to cable it when you have it on, on the unit. If you want to put it somewhere else, then you have to run a cable. So we don't need to run that cable. We'll just run this guy. Then you have to remember to have it turned on. That little button is uh, easy to forget. Okay, there is the Aperture 600C, 5400, 140 foot candles. All right. Another nice thing here is you've got uh, sort of a bent bale, and that just makes it uh, nicer when you do have a front on it. Uh, you can give a little bit of tilt and don't have to get an adapter uh, necessarily. Uh, you can also put it on an adapter, but nice to have that sort of built in. The Vortex has that as well. Let's see what we're running. 100%. I've got 
657 watts. That sucker's pretty heavy. So Vortex 8, two knobs either side. All right, nice and toasty. Where are we color wise? 5520, so it's the closest to 5600 so far. And we've got 90 foot candles, and that's with the softener in it. So let's take out the softener. Whoa, that's freaking bright. 410. <laughs> okay. All right. Got my attention. Interesting when you look at the lenses here, they're uh, every other green magenta. Kind of interesting. Wow, that is uh, a boatload of light. Let's see how many watts that's pulling. 635. It's a good deal of light. 5300. 150. Okay. Big and bold. So that gives you an idea. Seems like the 650, 600C are pretty close together. Then you get the uh, uh, vortex with the diffuse front and the sky panel. Then take the diffuse front out and just the lens front on the vortex blows them all away. There you go. Let's just see what the Nanlux is pulling wattage wise. 558. Interesting. Yeah, you know, uh, for some reason uh, on a job I had both the 600C and the Nanlux 650C next to each other and it felt like the 600C was more, uh, but it's not. It's, it's similar. And, uh, and then the Vortex, you know, I've been told, hey, if you put the uh, diffuser in there, it's going to be similar to a sky panel, and sure enough, it is. But man, you take that off, and there's a, a lot of output. So yeah, sort of like the uh, one by one hard. Anyway, I thought that'd be interesting. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and that just gives you an idea, very simply, uh, the difference or a difference between these four units. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. I did want to mention that for a number of these panels, like the Airy Sky panel, the Nanlux Dyno, you can get translucent intensifier panels that will get you more output, although in a narrower beam spread.